so today is March 25th three days post um, post my surgery I had a hysterectomy I know that you guys probably see a big difference in me my mood I'm actually feeling so much freaking better I think I look better compared to the last 72 hours it has been a freaking battle okay but it's really important that I share this journey with you, the real, the raw, the ugly. I'm just gonna give it to you like it is because like I said, somebody's probably going through the same thing like me and I want you to be prepared of what's yet to come. Everybody's different. Not everybody will experience the same symptoms and stuff like I did, but I'm just gonna tell you guys just a little bit like what I went through, some of my symptoms and stuff like that. But before we talk into like the bad stuff, let's talk about all the good stuff. I have been so catered to. It's been amazing. Um, the support that I've been receiving is just, just makes my healing process feel easier and quicker for me. Just wanna take a second to shout out Eddie really quickly for being here for me. Um, just sacrificing, taking off of work to sit in the hospital waiting over five hours for me to come out of surgery and being here every step of the way for me with the kids and to my grandmother, my beautiful, loving grandmother, who is my everything. She has been here every single day since I got out of the hospital, taking care of the kids, making sure that food is done. It just means a lot when you have that support, especially when you're sick and you can't do anything. I also received these beautiful roses from the kids and Eddie and some get well soon cards. My bed has been my, <laughs> my home for the last couple of days. I know like I know, I'm always on the go. I'm always on the go from the time I get up to the time I go to sleep. I'm pretty much on the go. I don't lay down. In this situation, I was forced to lay down and I, I guess I needed it. Um, so let's just jump into everything really quickly. I want to update you guys. Today's day three of my surgery of having the hysterectomy. I just took a shower, um, second shower since the surgery. I was straight musty, funky for the last couple of days I wasn't able to get up I was so drugged and so out of it um we're gonna go to the day of the surgery and I'm, I'm gonna tell you as much as I can remember but the last thing I remember is being in the operating room and the all these doctors are asking me questions how many kids do you have and I remember naming all my kids names and then before I knew it they put something in my nose and that was it I remember waking up in excruciating pain, but I remember not even being able to open my eyelids. Like, I was so sedated that I couldn't open my eyes, but all I could feel was my lower extremities were burning. Like, my whole stomach was on the floor, and I was screaming for God. I was screaming off the top of my lungs. On top of that, I was vomiting, which I didn't even know which way I was vomiting because I couldn't open my eyes. I couldn't open my eyes to see anything. So I just remember like dry heaving and just gagging constantly, like constantly throwing up. And I remember the doctor saying Zofran, Zofran, but it was just, I could just 
feel like spit and I'm like trying to throw up, but there's, there's nothing in my stomach because I didn't eat anything. The effects of the medication that they had given me, I guess it was just too strong. They pumped me with a lot of medication um, because the doctor had removed my, my cervix, my uterus, and my fallopian tubes, which I'll tell you guys about that. Remember, I, I was supposed to only have one fallopian tube, but I had one and a half. They never removed my whole fallopian tube when I had the ectopic. That's going to be for another story time. So it was just the first day was really bad for me. It was it was so bad. I was out of it. The pain was it was really bad. I thought having a baby natural was the worst. But this surgery is major and it is no joke. Like you just have to be sedated. Like you just have to be on the highest, the strongest because it's that real. I think my surgery lasted about three and a half hours. But in total, I was there for a good almost 16 to 18 hours. I was going to be admitted because I wasn't getting better. And they had a hard time waking me up from the anesthesia. The surgery was at 8 a.m. And I got done at 11.30 a.m. But Eddie wasn't able to come see me until like 2 something. Because that's how long it took for me to actually wake up. So after I finally kind of woke up and was a little coherent... I was not only experiencing pain from the operation, but I was experiencing pressure in my bladder because I had to pee, but my bladder was paralyzed. Couldn't go to the bathroom. And that was causing so much pain. If you have ever had surgery or have ever had to go to the bathroom and have held your pee and your bladder is so full, or you've been pregnant and you have that bladder that you just can't hold, you know what I'm talking about. I tried to stand up couldn't pee I, I couldn't stand up on my own my legs collapsed all the nurses got scared so they brought a bedpan to me the bedpan didn't work because my urethra was paralyzed I had to pee but it wouldn't come out so I'm screaming for God at this point I'm just like I have to go to the bathroom so luckily my doctor came put a catheter inside of me I didn't care about the catheter I didn't care about the pain I just wanted relief from my bladder when he put the catheter in me and he drained it if you guys would have seen the amount of freaking urine that came out it was insane. I'm drugged. I was vomiting. My urethra was paralyzed. I couldn't walk on my own. It was just really bad. So home, I don't even remember how I got home. I just know I was home around. It looked like it was dark outside. That's all I can say. And I remember just getting straight in the bed with my outfit on that I came to the hospital with. I had no energy and I was just screaming, crying screaming crying moaning and groaning and i remember trying to see the kids faces and i just didn't remember what was really going on i just wanted the pain to stop it was quite challenging and i tried to maintain as much as i could because i knew i knew that this wasn't going to be a walk in the park i knew this wasn't going to be easy and so i kind of prepared myself for the pain but it was just a different type of pain that you just like I guess my body was just in shock you know first 24 hours I think was the actual worst for me and then the second day started to the second day I felt maybe at two percent a little bit better but I was experiencing a lot of gas in my stomach a lot of gas in my stomach and nausea um, because of the medication and I was so out of it that I would forget to take the medication on time so I was like forgetting and my lungs were hurting, my stomach were hurt. Even walking from my bed to the bathroom was a process. Uh, again, my legs were still weak. And even trying to urinate, it was burning. It was just so many different things. My body just hurt. I couldn't turn over by myself. I couldn't, it just was like pulling sensation. It was a lot of different symptoms. And I was just like, this is crazy right now. Like I, I had a feeling of, a quick feeling of regret and sadness like, Maybe I should have waited or prolonged this because I feel like I'm going through more than I actually was when I first started. But I do know that it has to get worse before it gets better. And that's just with anything. You have to go through like all of the notions. You got to ride the wave when you're going through any type of sickness. It's going to get bad and then it's going to start to progress and you're going to start to feel better. So as for today, um, my pain is my pain has definitely lessened. I feel a little more alive, I guess, because the medication has got out of my body, which was what I really wanted because I'm not one for opiates and strong pain pills. I'm just literally sticking to I'm sticking to the Tylenol and the ibuprofen, like ibuprofen. 
um the other ones they could just keep those over here is like my medicine table i had to take Marilax, and i've been drinking gatorades and all those medications and plus some in the kitchen crackers water everything you think of <laughs> i had i also have this machine that the doctor wants me to uh blow into to just help with my lungs so that i don't like develop any type of uh pneumonia and stuff like that because i did have like a bronchial cough it comes with like a tube right here and i just have to blow into it like basically um inhale just inhale and hold it for a few seconds and then just breathe out it just really helps to strengthen my lungs i also have this binder that the doctor gave to me to wear around my stomach to help with like discomfort so it helps when you're walking around and even when you're laying down to just keep your stomach you know kind of like secured so if you cough or whatever it won't be so painful i also have a lot of ice packs so ice packs i've been doing a lot of ice packs on my stomach and my left side has been my best side to lay on i tried my back but my back just makes me feel like my stomach is burning more i have a lot of gas and acid in my stomach um and between me trying to get rid of the gas it's been easier to lay on my side you know what my knees bent actually hadn't had a bowel movement bowel movement since the day before my surgery so the doctor had checked in on me and he's like i need you to make sure that you you know you have a bowel movement so i took the Marilax last night and baby like literally one hour your girl's stomach started rumbling and i was like oh my god i dreaded going to the bathroom because i just knew i was gonna feel some type of discomfort you know i watched a lot of videos before leading up to my surgery and people were saying that was the worst part but baby god is good and that poop just came right out it, it came it came right on out and i didn't have any type of pain so it's a journey and um like even right now i feel like i've said a lot and i'm, I'm tired uh i feel tired i can i've walked um from like from here to the bathroom i still don't have good balance standing up you know my legs are weak and stuff but it's just amazing how much i progress from day one to day three like every single day i'm feeling better and better um and i'm just grateful because my doctor is amazing and he, i know that he he made me all better i know that he fixed me i remember him coming by my bedside talking saying something i was so out of it and stuff that i just i really didn't uh it wasn't i wasn't comprehending really well because of the medication so i have an appointment in a week to go see him and i'll keep you guys updated he took all of my tests and like all of my um organs and he sent it off to like pathologists so that they can do further testing to check for like any type of cancer god forbid or anything else that maybe he didn't see they will be able to determine that as well so he's gonna let me know that he also has pictures of like my organs depending on how graphic it is i'll definitely show you guys an updated video if your stomach can handle it i don't want to gross anybody out but you know we are women and this is reality of life sometimes we go through different things with our bodies so again i'm just trying to spread awareness and walk you through my walk and my journey of my road to recovery after having a hysterectomy at the age of 35 um this is just a little update but yeah i'm hanging in there feeling so much better so much better than i did i know every day is going to get better i'm doing everything i'm supposed to do i'm staying prayed up the only thing that sucks is just the idle time and laying in the bed but the kids check on me um they're like my little nurses and whatever i need they're right here so i'm not alone i've been getting so many calls and texts from everybody it's just so so nice to know that people love you i just haven't had the energy to just you know to type or just talk you know when, when you're in pain you just you just can't deal with anything you just you just want to feel better before you can just talk i i couldn't vocalize anything the only person that i had the strength to talk to was god i had to give him my undivided attention because he was there with me every step of the way he woke me up out of the, from the operation he was in the room with those doctors and he made sure that i woke up and i made it home to my baby so i probably forgot a whole bunch of shit. i don't know believe it or not my appetite is wonderful which is surprising to me because before this i used to have a shitty appetite but i've been feeling really hungry eddie went out and got us the seafood boil as you guys saw so i ate that um i had raisin bran for breakfast and um 
probably will have fruit in a little bit you know i'm just making sure i stay hydrated and stuff because oh my god i look so bad you guys saw me i'm starting to feel sleepy so i'm gonna end it right here but i hope you guys enjoy and i hope that you continue to pray for me um you guys know i'm strong yeah i know i'm gonna bounce right back a minor setback that's it you know i'll be back before you guys know it so just know i'm okay if you guys were thinking of me and you were worried i'm okay trust me i'm i'm gonna be okay i hope you guys are doing okay thank you for being patient with me I'm sorry i can't be as consistent right now but once i get back on my feet y'all already know i'm coming with the videos this is pretty much it i love you guys so much make sure you subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video